come here, albino. Number one, I got a whole net full of turtles. Mini pond is uh, officially no longer existent. There's one Malaysian, there's two Malaysian, there's two Malaysian. Oh my God, I love it. Did you see it yet, Dad? You're gonna see these things, Mom, everywhere. Excellent, because I look for them. And there I'm... he goes. That's a big, go. big pond compared to what you've ever been in, bud. Now, Mom, the big albino. What is going on, friends? Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a couple different things going on, but if you like turtles, this is your video. That is Raptor, which I named him Raptor a while ago. I've had him since he was about that big. That's the one we actually found in my pool a while ago, but that was also mine when he was smaller. He just grew up around the farm, I guess, and found his way back in my pool. Kind of crazy story behind that. We made a whole video on it. Here he comes. He's coming up to the top. Now, Raptor, stop it. Easy, all right? These two guys, aren't supposed to be in here. This is my 1,000 gallon aquarium, and in today's video, I'm gonna get them out of there finally and put them somewhere else. I'll tell you where that somewhere else is in just a second. This 1,000 gallon pond is way overdue to have some fish in it. I mean, it's been months. We built this thing straight from scratch, and I've been talking about getting fish for it for a while. I've asked you guys to comment in a lot of other videos, and I've been thinking of what I actually want, and I think I have the species. So that will be one of these upcoming videos, 100% getting fish to the 1,000 gallon aquarium. Of course, we can get more than just one fish, but I want to make an epic video on that. If you want to see that, again, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on when I do do that. Do do. <laughs> hey, buddy. You, my friend, are going to go into both of them out of the 1,000 gallon and into this turtle tub right here. We made this turtle tub. It's about 300 gallons, built the overhang for it and everything, and the water is dirty. <laughs> I tell you what, what's new? It, it happens every single time. Except for this time, I do know the problem. This pump is clogging up super fast from all this mulch and then it doesn't end up flowing correctly. I mentioned in the past, I want to do a bigger pump anyway because even when that's unclogged, it's only pushing a certain amount of water out of our beautiful waterfall we made right here. We literally made this so nice. It's got a nice hide in it, but that waterfall never is flowing at its fullest potential because this pump, this one right here, is not big enough. But my point is here, is I'm gonna take both the snapping turtles out of the 1,000 gallon, bring them over to here, put them into here, this is gonna be their house until they, you know, get big enough to where you have to build them their own enclosure. But I'm gonna get these guys, these little albino red ear sliders, beautiful, beautiful turtles. There's three of them and then like seven, I think, yellow bellies. There's also an African side neck turtle. Oh, he's in there actually, he's right there. He's chilling, he likes to be on land and I'm gonna leave him in here. And we're bringing these to my parents' backyard and that's where this YouTube channel started. If you've been watching for a long, long time now, you know exactly where we're heading. If you haven't, you're about to see the coolest backyard ever. I love it over there. You're gonna be shocked when you see how different it looks. These past couple of days, we've been doing a lot of work. I feel like I've been talking so fast. We got a lot to talk about today. But we did some epic stuff over there at my parents'. These turtles are coming with me right now. We need to get them into a cooler and then we're gonna head that way. We're here to collect all of our turtles. Come here, albino. Number one, number two, my biggest one, number three, big female. I got a whole net full of turtles. Four, five, six, one more. I gotta find them. There's another one in here. Nope. Hopefully he's not up on the land over there. But as you can see, we have our three albinos and six of our seven yellow bellies. Maybe he's back up in here somewhere. Oh, I got him. He was hiding in there, he's quick. I knew you were in there somewhere, buddy. So pretty, pretty, pretty turtles. Actually, I'm gonna split you up since I have another bucket. So you're not walking all over each other. Look how beautiful, man. Two, three. So pretty. Look at the face, hey, buddy. All right. There we go. We have got all of our turtles. It's a whole lot of turtles. We are here at my parents' house and look at this. The shed pond, this is like the new mini pond and you might be saying, why is it the new mini pond? Because the mini pond's gone. It's gone. That's where it used to be. It is a change of scenery out here. Crazy. The last two days, Hector and I have been in this backyard completely renovating everything. All this uh, turf is coming up in just this area. I mean, there is literally just so many platies in here. We took them all out of there. We put them all into here. Mini pond is uh, officially no longer existent. 
It's kind of crazy to look at. That fence will be right there. <laughs> the fence is now moved over to this side, which is just making this corner of the yard a spot for the turtles, a spot for everything. It looks amazing. We left the turf in here, and then we'll have real grass over there. We have one little guy right here. He is inside the waterfall, such a beautiful turtle. And then back here, we have all three of the Malaysians. There's one Malaysian, there's two Malaysian, there's three Malaysian. They're all hiding from us back here. This is their favorite spot. They even have a cage to walk up and get out of here. That's why they're always down here in the leaves. It's nice and cool back here, and uh, they're always there. So if I need to find them, I just go to this spot and they're always here. Hey, nice shirt, man. Thank you. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got a picture of real grass being around these. The boys over here are building this wall that's gonna go right there. And then we can put some plants up in here. We got a whole lot of plants. Check this out. I made this for my mom. She's gonna be here any minute. This is like a little surprise extra because she likes flowers, so look at that. Nice little touch of garden plants in the corner here to go right with all of this over here. We put some flowers in here. We're gonna use the rest right now in here as well. Oh my God, I love it. Did you see it yet, Dad? Oh my, look at this. This would be look sod. Look at this. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh. Isn't that sick? You're Just make sure your so, dog doesn't destroy it. You are so creative. I mean, it is like picture perfect. This is gonna be sick. It's kind of too dark to oh film. God. This is where the mini pond used to be located. There's the big one, still there, but the mini pond never ran. Never ran correctly. It would just never run correctly. All it did was smell. Every fish I put in it was eaten by a bird because the water was this deep. There was nowhere for the fish to hide. Like there is here, see the dock? They see a bird come up, the fish go under the dock. There's a ton of platies in here because I took everything out of the mini pond that was left and put them into this pond right here. So yes, mini pond is gone. You saw the clips, me and Hector went at it. it came out amazing now although the sod is not down yet the mulch is not down yet we have all the mulch right here that we're gonna need to put all up and through here I left the rock at the bottom down there because I like the rock but you know for over there and right here and all through here and all through up here will all be mulch it's going to look so much better and be a lot less maintenance for my mom and dad. I just spent hundreds of dollars to get this mini pond completely redone re everything cleaned out broke in a week. For some reason, it just never worked. And with me not being around at this location too much, why have my parents have that big old responsibility? So we took it out. We literally moved the white fence from there over to here. It makes like a little pocket over here. And today the turtles are going right in here. Oh, we also left the turf on the side of the house too. This is gonna be all sod right here, like real, nice real grass. My mom took the turf up in this specific spot because dogs like to go to the bathroom over here and it stinks. Turf is, not as good as they say it is, I guess. But well, we got a guy coming on Friday to do irrigation. So irrigation there, one right there. As you can see, there's literally holes in the lawn. So there's no point of me laying mulch and sod yet. Wait till that's done, then we do the sod. And of course, now that this yard is nice and clean, I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna stock up our new mini pond over there. This is considered the mini pond. This is the mini pond now because, you know, that one's gone. So this is the new mini pond. We're gonna load this with mollies and platies. There's a lot of mollies and platies in it already. I mean, you can see them down there. We're gonna do some really cool stuff with that pond. It opens up a lot more new doors to make great content. And over here, the big pond, crystal clear, super beautiful, just got fully cleaned out. And this is gonna get new fish for it as well. The gar that used to be in here is now at the farmhouse lake inside the Paku Pond. He's got a big old home. He was getting too big for this pond, so I brought him over there, released him over there. I also got these LEDs right here. All these LEDs are gonna go inside the pond, so at night, it lights up. Look at that. I gotta move that light that way a little bit more, pointing towards those. But other than that, it's good just like that it'll look so so nice again all this is going to be mulched all this is going to be sodded got a beautiful pathway here it's going to look amazing free up a lot of space for my mom and dad's dogs and a lot less maintenance for them that's why i did it now that you know that let's get to work It's raining, but I got one side done. As you can see, the chicken wire is on the fence now. Zip tied up top and nailed in on the sides. Looks really good. You barely could see it. Now I gotta do the gate 
and that side over there and we'll be completely closed in because this side over here this side already has it this is from last time i did it already all good so we are completely locked in once that's done really after this i just have two more things to do and that is the irrigation which i hired someone to do and second sod which is going to happen the day of irrigation right when they're done saw goes down boom done i'll let you guys know on the channel how it looks ah! <laughs> scared you <laughs> 44 inches the final piece is in right here just have to zip tie it doors done all that's done i'll show more on the camera in a sec but looking good all the turtles right here it's been a bit what do you think mom i'm so excited i mean i'm sweating drenched it's been about an hour and a half <laughs> finally finished the fence it looks amazing you want to get yeah first? let's get these guys first we'll do the albinos last you know that's like Probably four thousand, five thousand dollars worth of turtles. Those albino ones are expensive. Look at that fence, mom. <laughs> It'll definitely prevent a lot of them from escaping. If they do, this yard is completely blocked in. I built this backyard's fence around the entire perimeter, literally to the ground for a reason. So if they do get out of here, they can't even get out of the yard, and then my mom will find them. What do you think, mom? They do pop up once in a while. <laughs> I'm it's excited. A whole lot of I'm turtles. gonna enjoy watching them running around. I love them. I know, baby. You're gonna see these things, mom, everywhere. Excellent, because I look for them. And I there he goes. That's a big, go. big pond compared to what you've yeah. ever been in, bud. Oh Next one. Oh my gosh, here we go. You can put two in at once. Let's go together. There you go. Oh, he just sank. Yeah, you just sank that one. <laughs> there you go, little dude. Oh. They're gonna have so much fun in here. There's four right there, you barely notice them. But they're gonna get big. That is one of the reasons I put them in this backyard because they're gonna get so big. How many are in that one? Three. One more? This is a little guy. This is the seven. The littlest guy. There they go. Okay. Look at this big old pond for you guys. Where's the other one? Oh, there's one right there. Look at that. Look how happy they are, hiding up in the rocks. Oh, no. They're going to be living life. They are. And they can eat all this greenery. Lots of greenery, especially oh, yeah. these for them to eat. And the fruit that I give them. Yeah. <laughs> and the fruit she gives them. Now, Mom, the big albinos. These you're going to be able to see swimming around, basking with their legs out on the rocks. These are dope turtles. I don't even want to give them to you, but I am. <laughs> all right. Baby first. There you go, Mom. Oh, oh yeah. That is beautiful. I got the GoPro in the water to get some underwater stuff for you. That is just such a pretty turtle. You're going to be able to find them on a lot. Okay. These guys are mostly going to be in the water. Okay. But you'll see them bask a lot too. Look at this one walking right now. Walking in the air. Here we go. He's air swimming. Go, buddy. Look at how pretty. This guy's. Oh, right look here. at him go right on out there. Yeah. Oh, look at the one coming up to him. This big old breeder mama. She's laid eggs in the past, but we didn't really have a great environment for them, so they didn't end up hatching. This time, they're gonna hatch. So we look forward to some of these males over here. The big Pino's right there. And that's the little one. I cannot believe how big she is. She's gonna make some great babies. Oh yeah, she is. Definitely out here, so many places to lay eggs. Just look at the difference in size of their place now. They have a massive environment. I mean, all this is theirs. Every bit of it. They can go anywhere they want. Will they come to me like the Malay? Uh, maybe eventually. You have to train them a little bit, you know? But they like to come up. When you, when you first walk up, they're gonna come up and look for food, 100%. Look at the little yellow bellies. <laughs> I'll take the chair. Cage is good, turtles are good, successful. Now all we got is irrigation and sod. And then this backyard's like top notch again. No more breaking BS. There he is. There he is. And a little yellow belly coming up. <laughs> this is the Malaysian's favorite spot. They like to go up in here. It's like a jungle up in there. And this is water too, so you gotta think of it. Look, there's water, have a rock, just, just so much. Look at that cage. Yes, sir. Ain't no turtles getting out now. I just gotta clip the little zip ties. It is down to the ground right there. So amazing. That's a good spot right there. Let me tell you, you got half water, half sun. That's amazing, buddy. 
just now installed the 630 gallon per hour pump. So it is pumping twice the amount as the other one used to. Actually, a little more than twice, 30 gallons more than twice. I stuck a rock under there for now, just to like get some more like pressure flow into the water. I wanna do something cool like underneath to have the water run off of, but this right here has uh, no turtles in it now. And as you can see, the water's already cleared up a lot. We're gonna go grab our snapping turtles out of the 1,000 gallon and put them on in. Look at all of our baby turtles. Oh my gosh, buddy was tripping. Look at all those little turtles laying everywhere. Soft shell, fish all over. That's the mini turtle pond. Come on, come up here. Oh my goodness. Come here. Time to get out of here and get into some more natural stuff. Stay. Oh, your buddy's coming to say hi now, too. All right, you're just gonna walk away or something? I had to put you down to open the door and now you're just walking away from me. Where do you think you're going? Come here. Come here. All right, we all know you're aggressive and mean. It's all right, you don't, you don't have to be a tough guy, all right? What? Oh, 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 oh. Go. There you go, buddy. Into there, and this is where the two snapping turtles will be. At least for now, until the, my mic got stuck on the bush. At least till now until they get bigger. Come on, do me a favor, just come up to the surface, please. You might leave a lot smaller. No, 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 no. He's trying to kick out of my hand, see him pushing? There you go. Two snapping turtles into the 300 gallon turtle tub. Thank you so much for watching today's video. All about turtles today. Although I will be uploading tomorrow, they run around like crazy. What are you guys doing, huh? Look at them. They're getting big, their energy's getting crazy. I will see you back here tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, yeah, peace.